Before Kavanaugh and Ford, there were Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill. I would have preferred an assassin's bullet to this kind of living hell that they have put me and my family through. I took that to mean we ought to have sex or we ought to look at these pornographic movies together. And just as Senator Susan Collins has been overwhelmed with phone calls about Kavanaugh, Maine's U.S. senators and their staffs felt the heat in 1991. We had many phone calls, letters, and other inquiries. Hundreds? Thousands? Oh, I would say thousands. Larry Benoit was running Democratic Senator George Mitchell's offices in Maine, where the calls and letters poured in. Well, it was certainly divisive at the time, but I wouldn't put it on the same scale as the Kavanaugh nomination, because the times are different, and um, we don't have the um, political gridlock and, and the sharp divisions that we now see in our American body politic. But the case still riveted the attention of the country. Former Mitchell Chief of Staff Mary McElhaney remembers taking a call from a woman in Old Town. And she said, I believe that woman. She said, you have to believe that woman. She said, it happens all the time. 27 years ago, I was a staff member for Republican Senator Bill Cohen, and other former staffers told me today they have sharp memories of the Clarence Thomas controversy and the barrage of phone calls coming into their offices. One woman staffer said the case had special meaning for her. Mary McElhaney said she agrees. I remember back to the Anita Hill uh, hearing, and I remember watching that and thinking, that woman is so courageous. The all-male Judiciary Committee supported Thomas. In the full Senate, Bill Cohen voted for Thomas. George Mitchell voted against him. Even though Democrats were in the majority, the vote was 52 to 48 to put the nominee from a Republican president on the Supreme Court. Now the Kavanaugh hearing has the nation divided, with protesters packing the halls of the Senate to pressure Susan Collins. Those who have been through it say they can't help but think about the long-term impact of Thomas and Hill. Really changed the course of American culture and brought to the fore misogyny and uh, sexual harassment. Now they all wait to see what happens next with Brett Kavanaugh. In Portland, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.